Big Hugh checking in. Big Hugh checking in. But, buddy, buddy, about to finish some work. Got me on my two-way thing. This is such an interesting player. I've talked about him before. Now he's starting to make an impact at the double-A level and people besides me are noticing. Carlos Pena is with me today. And Carlos, you had a big breakout at the double-A level. What was it like for you when people started taking notice of what you were doing at the plate in double-A? Oh, it was awesome. It was uh, very exciting. Uh, however, I tell you, sometimes you try to live up uh, to the expectations, and that is an absolute mistake. Um, you still have to stay within your process and within your approach. That's easier said than done. So what I would do was just to think smaller. So when I went up to the plate, instead of trying to hit that big home run, I would think about hitting a line drive right at the pitcher's knees. And that was it. I was generally right, right. just trying to hit that, the pitcher's knees, and that really helped me to stay focused. And home runs would come, even when I was just trying to hit a low line drive. So make sure you stay within your approach. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Version back with the minor league pregame show, counting you down to Double A Central Baseball with tonight's Go. version of the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Buddy Muddy, Buddy Muddy, this one with hits in each of his last ten games. What do you think is contributing to his recent success, and what do you think about his chances of extending his streak in this one? Yeah, Matty, consistent hitting mechanics, a great eye, feel for the barrel right there, Matty. I actually think it's going to continue. This guy looks so calm in the box, I don't see that he doesn't get a knock today. Okay, we're looking forward to this one. Line up. Welcome into this presentation of Minor League Baseball from the AA Central. Winston Valentine starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? So stepping in is Buddy Muddy. And now the first pitch. Reaches out, but he can't get it. It's nothing in one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Behind 0-2 now. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Back on it is the left fielder. Go! Let's go! Let's go, buddy, buddy, with the home run, ski, baby. As they take the lead, it's two to one. Well, go. He missed a fastball earlier, so the pitcher thought, he can't catch up to my ear. Well, he not only caught up to it, he chased it down and tattooed it out. shooting. Ooh. 
tags again. Buddy Money lasted a two-run homer in his last at-bat. And I'm sure as he strides to the plate right here, he's certainly got to have a little bit more confidence. But that's not his game. He's got to get back to what makes him successful, put back to baseball, and try and drive something right back up the middle. Lifted down the line and left. But no one can get to this one as it's down for a foul ball inside the visitor's bullpen. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Racing back the left fielder. Gone! He's smacking these bitches. Let's go! So a two-run shot to left center. His second home run of the game as it's now a four-to-one ball game. Yeah, coming into this game, this guy was the least of their worries. I mean, come on. He's in the bottom half of the lineup. Not a threat, right? Wrong. This is the second homer of the game. Pretty soon. He's Put some respect on my name. To move him up a couple spots. Buddy motherfucking mud. Played again and looking for home run number three in the ball game. His second coming back in the fifth. Schmack! Shh. Oakland just, I need to hurry up and call me up, man. Call me up. First offering. Now an off speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Here's a fastball now that sits softly down the line to third. That gets down, he's got himself a base hit. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. My head now. So I move, move that goddamn Next to hit is Ray. Him. He went down on strikes in his last practice. With the uh, here comes the one two. This is in high in the air out toward left center. Martinez will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. And they get the double play. Doesn't happen often throughout the course. Of Next to hit, Buddy Muddy singled in his last at bat. From the belt, the pitch. You try to hit me. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. I don't see. No. He's taken high above the zone. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitter's counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitcher's pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot late. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Thoreau leads off first with one away. Fouled away. Swing it, chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. You know what was really impressive? Let's go. Yeah, in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to Let's keep it rolling go. the rest of the way. 7 1, the final score in tonight's. Midland led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Taylor Hurd takes the win on the mound, his second of the year, as he turns in eight strong innings of work. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check. I want to kill y'all hear that bird outside singing, bird outside singing.
game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Today, it's game two of a three-game weekend set between the Frisco Rough Riders and the Midland Rockhounds. The race for the division continues to heat up as two of the best square off next. Here it comes. Oh. Top 50 prospect. I'm loving that. The 1-0. Oh, what a smooth hit. Bottom of the second here with no score. Ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Into the corner and slicing foul. Popped him up. LeBlanc is calling for it. And that's the third out. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Stepping in once again is Andy Abanya. Struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few A-B. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Stepping in next, Kevin Mendoza, both for one for him here in this one. Runner goes for second. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Oh, shit. Going back is the center fielder. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. <laughs> next up is Yoni Hernandez. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. As we take a look at the pitch count, you can see that it's not that high, but you have to wonder. Next, it'll be Andy Abanez, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. 1 2. Line drive, that's a base hit into the right center field gap. Score all the way from first. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Buddy Muddy. Offense needs to get going right here. You want to try and tighten up this game a little bit before it starts to get into that territory where you're going to start seeing the back end of each bullpen. And it's quickly 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. All right. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastball. Your attention, please. The batter will be Sam Huff. Leading off for Frisco. 
Ready with the nothing in one pitch. High in the air out to center field. Long run for the center fielder. He goes there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Next, it'll be Buddy Muddy, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Right fielder coming on. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day, Dan. He kept the front shoulder tough, kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hitting streak. Nice job. You know, Dero, I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is he hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh inning of this one to come through. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. He's proven to be an awfully reliable reliever this season. He wraps this one up and collects his 20th save of the year so far. And the score finishes 4-1 today. Frisco wrap up their 20th road win of the season. Jason Barr earns his fifth winner of the year. Number 51 wraps it up for the save, his 20th of the season. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, The Show. Dot com. Minor League Baseball now on the show as our coverage comes to you from the Double A Central. Today, the finale of this three game weekend series between the Frisco Rough Riders and the Midland Rockhounds. Division rivals do battle. Next. James Nail, a Missouri-born right-hander, gets the job of starting pitcher here. And stepping in, Charles LeBlanc. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Muddy is there, two gone. Play, Kevin Mendoza, and he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Into center field, line drive base hit. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. What a frustrating inning from a pitcher standpoint. Bottom of the third now. Digging in is the outfielder, Buddy Muddy. Fly ball out toward left center field. Rodriguez, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. All set for the start of the fourth. And next to hit is the catcher, Kevin Mendoza. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Into center field, line drive base hit. As we take a look at the pitch count, you can see that it's not that high, but you have to wonder. Digging in next, Yoni Hernandez. As he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Loves hitting left-handed off of right-handed pitchers. Hitting over 300 against right-handed pitchers. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Rodriguez rounds the corner and is headed home. He scores as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. So now 
into the box is Buddy Muddy. He flew out in his last A.B. Fouled off. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. In the air, down the line, and left. And no one will get this one. Another one sent foul. Now another 0-2. And it's fouled away. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's located. Mm. Uh, we'll have to press pause. Is that strike three to retire the side? Nothing across here this half. So now here is Buddy Muddy. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A swing and a shot down the line. It's a fair ball. And the runner scores from second as they cut away no. into that deficit here. It's now a 6-4 to four ball game. Hey, d I think we've got a case right now. This team, they're just facing on a pitcher that he's given up some runs. It looks like he's starting to get a little bit tired, leaving some of these pitches up in the zone. Yeah, and I think there's a fight at the back rack right now. Guys are licking their chops, knowing he's a little bit tired. Going to leave stuff over the middle of the plate. Won't be surprised to see the bullpen get going. Swing and a little blooper to center. Center fielder coming on, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Throw uh, on to second yeah, for the force, and the side is retired. Yeah. Awesome. Stepping up is Buddy Muddy. He delivered an RBI single in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone. Work on his craft and try and drive something in the gap. And that's through into right field for a base hit. The throw to the plate. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. You know, that's a nice knock right there, but I want to take a look at the base runner. He got a nice secondary lead. He read that it was a soft liner and it was going to fall, and he's able to steal his teammate in RBI. Boy, amen about that, d -Row. One of the things I think that base running is all about is... Oh, and it froze him, and they got him. They got him. Hey, a good right-handed pickoff move is really all about the... 8-5 today. The Frisco Rough Riders led this game from the third inning on. Big you checking out. Catch y'all later.